In the App Exchange, there is a Gigamon metadata app for Curator. What this app does, it, it allows you to, let me actually show you that in Curator, it, it puts some dashboards, if we go here to the dashboards. It has some dashboard, in fact, three set of dashboards, that's the SSL one, web traffic, and DNS. And what this application does is something very similar to Q&I. It, it inspects the payload of a network segment with the Gigamon gear and then generates IP fix data out of the content of the, of the payload. So, for example, if we actually pause this video here, and I'll show you how I did all these and look at any one of these uh, packets. We see that uh, Gigamon uh, add all these custom properties, you know, DNS type query, certificate signed. I mean, these uh, different fields, we see one of them here populated in it. We can actually probably see it here from the payload. Yeah, as you see it here on the payload. So it extract from, from the payload that data and populate some fields and send them via IP fix to Curator. Again, very similar to what uh, QNI does. And the idea is to make sure that data is not hidden on the payload. So not only you get logs and flows, but also the inspection of the payload, which is very important. To install this app, you need to follow the procedure that is shown in this documentation. Let me actually share the document here. And there is a section for the configuration of the Gigamon product to extract the, the data and to set it up and get the license and all that. And below here is this, the part that I follow. Is, this is the curator section. And you follow all these steps are specified here. I'm not going to go through those. Uh, and there was one, there's one, one, there was one thing that I need to do that I did not find in the documentation. I want to share it with you. If I go here into the admin console, under system settings, under Qflow settings, I need to change the format. It was TLV and I need to change it to payload. That's the only thing that I did not find in the actual documentation. So what the guys from Gigamon did is that they sent me a pickup uh, with the content of those fields, with the IP fix, uh, and, and I replayed those, and that's what you actually see here, uh, the product of that replay. And as I was doing that, because I have that application, uh, the dashboards uh, were actually being uh, populated. Uh, one thing is that not all the dashboard, not the pickup does not contain all the data uh, that to populate all the dashboards. So that's what you only see a couple of those. And, and because I'm replaying a pickup, I'm not getting the real traffic. I need to change this to count and, and, and do uh, capture time ser series data and, and do it for an hour. But that's not something that if you have a Gigamon product and you like this and you have it, then uh, you wouldn't have to do any of that configuration. Follow the steps uh, that you have in, in that docu document and you will be getting IP fix data from the content of the of the actual payload. So whatever product you use it is important to move your inspection beyond even logs and flows and go into the payload to in inspect you know things like for example here voice over IP traffic and even on the fields that you cannot manage the decryption there's plenty of data uh, before the actual encryption comes that allows you to do some inspection. But of course, the, the best case is when you manage uh, with some money in the middle schemes, the, the, the uh, encryption being done over SSL so you can see everything that is going in and out of the enterprise.